lot of time on our feet. I'm going to show you just one quick thing from on top. This may not be new. I know it's not new to Zeb. He's got some Kent State guys that have been crushing people with this for years. But uh, it may be new to you guys. It may not. But if you guys are leggers or even want to learn to ride legs and not have your high school coach lose their mind while you're learning to ride legs, this is something that you can do. Uh, turn around. Just drop that. Okay. Lean up forward for me. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what your breakdown is to get this guy to have his butt off of his heels. But you got to get his butt off of his heels. So whether that's a chop and then you knee, whether it's a spiral, um, whether it's a pry, that I don't really care about that. I got to get his butt off of his heels so that I can execute this. And also slide about foot this way so I don't end up putting you on the carpet. There we go. All right. So essentially, what I'm looking for is I'm going to hook. This back foot right here, like this. Okay? Now, where I feel like guys make a mistake with this if they're already doing this, is they do this and they just kind of hang out. Okay? And this is a good ride and in college. You can get away with riding for a while and just doing this. But if I can get here, I want to try and be proactive and put this guy down, put him in bad position. Okay? So I I like to go here with a, a high claw and the opposite armpit. There's some other things you can do. But this is my preference right here, okay? I'm gonna get up on both of my feet and I'm gonna curl this to my butt, okay? Get a lot heavier when I did that? Okay, so he's fighting my weight already. So I, I can go basically like chop break down for you wrist tilt guys. It's right there. Coach Hazard's floating around the room somewhere so we call it a hazard tilt for him, make him feel good, okay? You can get to wrist tilt, but I'm a leg guy. And I, I like to tilt too. I'm pretty good on top, or was pretty good on top. I'm retired now, but um, was pretty good on top. This is a great way for me to get legs in without taking the chance of going like this. Okay? I'm gonna just lift this up. I'm gonna be hopping. And he has two options. He can go down before I put a leg in. Okay? Or I'm gonna chop this arm out and throw my boot in right here on the way down. Now he's 95% of the way turned for me already. Go figure four, back the head, and score. Now, obviously he's not fighting back real hard. We're showing technique. It'll look a little di different in a live situation, but you still end up there a lot, and you're gonna end up with a leg in. He may find his belly instead of going straight to his back, but I'm gonna bump, pull, start hopping, hop, hop, hop. Okay. I'm gonna end up pretty close to right here a lot of the time. Now he might belly down, and I have a nice high figure four, which I have a whole series that I don't have time to go through today. But if I get here, I got a whole, t whole ton of stuff that you can do. But for right now, we're just going to work something basic. This can even be a good turn late in a match. Like, you need a turn. The guy's probably not going to let you just reach up and cradle him. He's probably not going to let you run a half. He's probably not going to think a whole heck of a lot about you being back here and hooking his leg at first. Okay? I'm going to get him. Pop, 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 bam. Pop that in. Steal a quick turn on the edge, or before time runs out. Okay. Try really hard not to fall to your hip. I stopped on my hip there just so I didn't have to roll onto the carpet. But try and have your hips facing the mat once you're in. Boom, boom, hopping, 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 hopping. Feet out like this, chest to the mat. And here's the reason why. This guy might decide to pin himself without knowing it. Turning into me is the best thing he can do for me. He wants there in this way, and I'm choking him and squeezing his head off. So he said, well, I should try this direction. As long as I'm on my knees and my hips are facing the mat, I can do that. If my hips turn down, I don't have a chance to do that. I miss an opportunity to pose for the crowd, laugh at this guy a little bit and get a fall and get off the mat. Okay? Questions? All right, let's go try one, two.